Alright, hey guys, let's just talk about the, the balance update. Um, so, I'm going to give them a grade, overall grade of the balance update, like, early. This, this is probably um, a B-plus close to an A in terms of the balance update. Um, the Astro Elves got a major boost. Um, that resists poison instead of resist blind. Um, so when I first read it, you know, as soon as, as soon as you open it up, I was like, ah, they took off the blind. So now they're weak against like the goblins. Right. And I was just like, ah, man, I'd rather, you know, poison. At least you can try to, you know, you can, you can cleanse, you can keep healing to, to mitigate the, um, the scorpion ladies, um, poison cause it can't be cured. And I was like, ah, you know, I'd rather kind of not have that chance of missing because on, on offense, I feel like that chance for miss is not really like 25%. It's more like 45, 50%, sometimes even more. And then you, you couple that with a dodge. But once they, you know, you bred down and you're like, hey, all offensive, you know, astral elf special skills now always hit their targets. They kind of just gave them both, right? They gave them both, you know poison resist and now they can't miss so blind doesn't work on them at all so i thought that was a major boost um for them um i wish they kind of treated some of the other um heroes and give them this kind of love and support so that they can compete in the meta um so i thought that was really good um lemon would get another boost um to 380 um for what he does and his speed it's a, it's a welcome boost um, I don't think anything was really wrong with the first um, creation of him, but I guess they want more people to, to to get more sample size of having him in two portals already. I think he was in the Covenant, and he was um, not featured the first time um, he was released. So um, I guess they wanted to s they, they wanted more win shares with him, and they're not seeing it. So they're giving him more of an offensive boost, um, which is always welcome, especially for just new heroes. They don't need too much stuff and then plus he can't miss now um being in the astral's family so and now he can't get poisoned so he's a he's a really good hero um i've double limit broke broke him um definitely a, a level um because he's just got he has a lot of flexibility long term um just based on his damage um and you know if they decide to do costumes but i doubt it for some of these families that they're going to do any costumes so don't hold your breath there um, Dreadstar, um, I started her, um, her debuff isn't anything crazy. The healing mitigation now would require you to have two healers in order to remove, um, you know, to kind of get, you know, minions of, excuse me, fiends off of your heroes. So just, I don't like the speed. It's very hard to, you know, get her in at the last hit and then re do subs, you know. She's almost like guaranteed that they can't heal and revive. So if a lot of those teams that just focus on, like, you know, one hitter and all healers, if you can get her in them, if you can get her and pair her with a fiend um, hero that can sap up the healing, they almost, you know, kind of crumble down the long stretch. Um, but n I don't think she's anything worth chasing if you have her. Um, you know, very fast war, of course. You know, w without saying these heroes are, are, are amazing in that war type, but outside of that war type, um, you'd have to have specific teams to really utilize um, and get her. I think mine's is at 80, I think level 85. I believe it's at 85. Um, the costume bonuses for Challenge Festival 1, this was long overdue. Um, they literally can't compete. Um, I've said this in previous videos. They can't compete in the meta. Um, at 80, 80 or 85, they don't do enough damage um, to any hero over, I think, 1,300 defense. Like, they, you struggle to tile damage them. They survive sniper specials. So, you know, I've seen, you know, I've ran, like, mono teams and 4-1 teams against... Um, the meta tanks, um, Nautica, Hathor, 
with some of these heroes that I've leveled and they don't survive and now you run it against them with the buff and it's it's completely different um, so it's a it's a welcome change I wish they would have bumped the attack to 25% or the defense to 25% you know one of one or both um, but you know I'll take it hopefully um, it does make a difference for a lot of the tenured players who have um, these heroes with their costumes and then they added in the mindless attack um, which is welcomed um, I think this is more of a chase for um, a lot of the newer heroes that are coming out because since they don't have a they didn't have a passive before now they do have a passive so it's it's now more welcoming for people to want to go and summon and get some of those heroes and their family bonus is amazing um, I wish they shrunk it down to like a one to three instead of like you know that that archaic style that they have where it's two to two they start at two heroes plus um, but they do have one of the best bonuses um, in terms of mana generation things of that nature and war would work well with the legendary troops getting your heroes to speed up um, um, exponentially with that big stat boof that you get from um, from the heroes so I really like that um, hmm. what else here um, oh, plus these heroes are going to be in the um, hero league so you know I guess that's that's also the incentive they want to get more people to use resources you know I made a complaint to them about um, I had you know wasted resources to kind of level 90 some of these heroes for um, hero league and you know was very disappointed that it got delayed you know and sometimes when they say things are delayed with SG you know it's really delayed to the point where it's canceled because they almost never come back or when they come back it's like completely irrelevant at that point like you're you the, the game has changed so much um, that it's not even worth it um, so some of these updates um, are really okay like Red Hood's inherited AP HP going up to 25% that's a big number when you have a legendary troop tacked onto her the direct damage is still minuscule um, but like on defense it, it it you'll you'll see it playing against it on defense on offense it's like a ah 10% heal is doesn't does nothing um, you know again they should just remove that and get something else there to make her a little bit more effective but a 10% heal is is like her and um I'm trying to remember the, the hero of the month from way back. It was a very fast healer that had like 10 or 15% heal. And I'm like, that does nothing for fiends. It does nothing for the, the healing of the team. Um, so it was just like really, really useless for a very fast hero. I get it. But that really, really wasn't much. Guardian Howl, just if you have it, don't level it. If you already leveled it, just just chalk it up to a loss. But it just is what it is. Um, you're, you're not, you know, you know, they can't fix this hero no matter what they do at this point. Um, so, uh, Damon, um, welcome stat boost. Um, already hit really hard. I have mines maxed out, I want to think. All right, level 85, single limit break or double limit break. But um, really good hero. Um, you know, very fast hits decent this spells um does it does a lot of things um you know uh, blocks the ail um, status protection ailments on the defensive team blocks the offense from getting stat status ailments um so he's a really good hero i didn't like him at first when i first looked at the, the kit um but then you know you read it over a few times um and i was just like oh, okay really 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 good and i i, I, I kind of prioritized him and leveled him um just just because it, it's offensive and defense and my play style covets that because you're always thinking about trying to combat what the, the other team has on the other side and then what your team can do on your side so um, I really like him I actually just um, if you check my summoning video that should be up um, you know around the same time as this video um, I actually pulled a second copy and I'm debating um, leveling um, my second copy of Damon um, Lanzor <sighs> um, I, I, I'm reserve comment on 
this hero. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I like the hero at all. Um, Winnie, um, I don't have her. So, you know, if you have her, comment below on whether or not you like Winnie. Um, she does a lot of things, um, but it's like kind of nothing unique, really. And I don't see a lot. I don't see her a lot for, you know, I, I think it's because of her speed. I think she was average speed, but probably see a little bit more of her. Um, but for slow speed and even in very fast wars, I I haven't seen Winnie. Um, maybe, um, you know, when they put them more into different portals um, or change if they change the average speed, you know, you might see a little bit more of her. But you know, I've I've I think I saw her when she first came out. For those who kind of you know chase those heroes, but outside of that, I've not seen Winnie. So I don't think it's anybody who. Um, it's not if you if you get her, it's not somebody you need to prioritize because we really haven't seen her in the meta. Um, Secret of Opera, um, Daroga, I level to eighty five with this buff. I prioritized him and double limit broke him. Um, I now pair him with the um, Philelius Fog um, and one other green. And literally, they just they just destroy whomever because fog has priority to spell and elemental down, um, which is what you know we baited Evelyn was going to be to be able to get rid of um, Hat Whore's um, A1 buff. So then you can do that, hit her, and literally destroy her and get her out of the way, and then you know attack the rest of the team, or you can pick out which specific opponent that you want to single out and those two hits like literally destroy um defenses whether it's a tank wing um with a legendary troop so i really 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 like him um, um and he's gonna kind of stand the test of time as a sniper because he has that additional bleed damage um on top of that and 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 the attack buff so he doesn't uh, multiple things. He's just not a regular, just a sniper. Um, so he'll he'll stand the test of time. So if you 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 get him and you're on the fence, definitely recommend leveling him. Um, you can also pair him with you know any of the elemental downs um, for green. Um, but you just have to you have to cater your play style to it. You're going to need a priority dispel to kind of get off status ailments if you're going against someone's status ailments or counterattack. Um, then we have. Um, Aaron for the Hero of Month updates. So these weren't that um, that significant. Um, I thought the heal buff was really great and spread over time. Um, but these are easily countered with um, boosted health down, um, where your, your ceiling on your cap of how much you heal doesn't really change much. Um, his direct heal on the costume, 45% is big, gets rid of a lot of minions, especially if you have the troops on him. Um, you know, that's a big heal because it's like 70 some percent. So it get rid of, excuse me, it get rid of fiends and it overheals. So you, you're able to survive a little bit more. I do like his costume. Um, it's probably going to be a, a, a passion project level, um, because I like that family bonus on um this this that 2017 family um Malosi, um if you don't have him you don't really need him he's a very fast hitter that disables the buff he's really good um as a support unit to tackle like hathor and enemies that give um that status ailment or counterattack buff to the entire team um where you can charge him really quickly block them so that they only get the overheal from Hathor, and then you can go in and try to kill Hathor um, relatively quick, quickly. But, you know, most people who are going up against Hathor are bringing priority dispellers. Hopefully you have the um, the blue owl that priority dispels and then hit her and wipe out the team. Um, but, you know, if you do have Melosi, um, this damage really doesn't do anything. He needs a significant stat boost, so hopefully this is a two-prong approach to getting him um, to a level where he's usable again. Um, but 
you know, it's not something worth like, hey, they made a change and now you can go level Melosi. It's definitely not that. Um, Frost, his minions, 15% um, for me is relatively, like, it doesn't matter. Like, his minions does, does nothing. You can Grimble um, or um, use any type of minion destruction heroes and get rid of all this. Um, be, most people that use Froth use him in teams with um, Mr. Pengi and, you know, just spazzes the minions and then let Pengi kind of start to one-shot teams or, you know, create openings. So nothing really changes in in you know, really anything with Frost. Um, so it's not, you know, if you have him and you haven't leveled him, leave him on the bench. Um, Silvaria, um, I have mine's level 85. I need to now pull her out of the, I think, I don't remember if I took her emblems off. So I'm going to have to re-emblem her. I think I have a few of her class emblems. And, you know, I'll probably, you know, probably do a video um, to see if she's really worth it. Um, but she worked very well with pets where, you know, you go against certain teams that have burn. And then as she's getting burn um, or you burn the opponent, she would then cast a minion, which would get all your pets 5% mana. Um, really some funky stuff that you can do with her. I really liked her, but I thought her damage was insignificant. Um, she does need a stat boost um, for her to even warrant anything, any kind of consideration. But, you know, I have mine at 85, so I want to test it out and see if she's worth kind of putting back on some teams. Um, Turgok, a uh, very good hero for Mystic Titans and Titans. Um, 450 has just added additional damage for when you're just firing all, him off and getting his stack up, but nothing really from a um, competitive gameplay in terms of wars. So um, if you, most people who have him have already leveled him and are using him already, so it's just a, this is just a welcome add. Um, let's see. And I think this is just a fill, the full list of changes per hero, which... It's just a repeat of what they did. Um, so um, that's it. Um, again, overall grade, I think this is like a B plus. A um, lot better than the upgrade, the uh, update that they did re previously, which I gave that a very poor grade. I think it was like a D. Um, this one, at least they're hitting older heroes, trying to get some older heroes into the meta and upgrading some of the newer heroes and giving them passives that are more relevant to today's meta and game so that, you know, we can see um, a little bit more, you know, uh, competitive. I think they've really pushed a lot of things towards the defense, and now they're pushing back towards the, um, you know, support for the offense because they're, you know, from what I've seen, there's, there's a lot of struggles with the heroes on offense trying to combat with the additional passives that they give a lot of heroes and their ability and speed to trigger multiple amount of times. So, um, you know, good luck in your alliance quests. On a side note, um, I am looking for a new alliance. So um, if there's any openings in any alliances that have a spot in top 10, uh, top 15, top 25, um, please feel free to reach out. Um, I'll leave my line ID in the description of this video. Um, but yeah, um, Phoenix Empire is dissolving. Um, at this point, uh, most of the major players have moved on. And, you know, some of the uh, players are taking a step back, going into um, alliances probably inside, you know, the lower top 100 or outside the top 100. So, yeah, I'm looking for a new home. So feel free to reach out. Um, Thank you, and thanks for liking, watch the video, like, subscribe, all that good jazz. See you in the next one.